night in northern India. At the Dave Para tea plantation, nearly everyone was asleep. But around 2 a.m., another noise interrupted the dull thud of the rain. A herd of elephants began to trumpet loudly. They were used to elephants. The tea estate was, after all, close to a wildlife preserve. Elephants often traveled through the estate, but tonight was different. The security guard said that the elephants stayed longer than normal. The trumpeting and roaring continued for about 40 minutes. The elephants finally quieted down and vanished into the night. But when the sun rose, it exposed a corpse. A dead elephant calf lay buried upside down in a ditch. Its stiff and lifeless legs poked up above the soil like gruesome grave markers. This story was just one of five possible instances of elephant burial, documented in a journal article earlier this year. The authors argue that Indian elephants carry their calves with them after death and intentionally seek out ditches in which to bury them. Hi, I'm Peter. Before we get to the rest of the video, please make sure to click that like button and also subscribe to make sure that you see our videos in the future. Now in a groundbreaking study by an Indian Forest Service officer and a Pune-based researcher has found that Asian elephants ritually bury their dead calves. The study presents five case reports of calf burials by elephants. Unfortunately, no one actually saw these supposed burials take place. Most happened either at night when everybody was asleep or during a storm when people were inside to avoid the rain. So we don't actually have any eyewitnesses to the actual activity itself. In each case, people reported having heard the elephants in the vicinity, having noticed that the elephants lingered in the area longer than usual and may have been louder than they usually were, but no one actually saw the elephants burying the calves. In each of the cases, a calf was found lying dead in a drainage ditch. They were all lying on their backs, upside down. Their head, their trunk, and their body core were covered in dirt, but their legs stuck up above the surface, and sometimes a little section of their belly was exposed as well. The study's authors argue that there are two reasons why the calves are lying in this position. First, the study's authors argue that Mother elephants can be slow to leave their dead or dying calves behind. They often want to bring their calf with them because of their strong maternal instinct. And so the mother elephants will grab the calf's trunk in their trunk and drag the baby with them as they walk. So the authors here think that what's going on, the reason why these babies are upside down in the ditches is because the mothers were holding onto the legs or the trunk of the baby in order to drag it along and lower it down into the ditch, right? It'd be very hard to grab hold of a calf on its smooth back. So instead, the reason why the calves are all upside down is because the mothers or other group members who are participating in the burial are holding onto the appendages of the calf to carry it and put it into the ditch. Secondly, and I think more unlikely, the authors claim that there's some sort of emotional reason why the elephants are bearing their calves upside down. They claim that the elephants have an emotional connection to the head and therefore they're trying to bury the calf upside down so they can cover the head so they don't have to see the face and therefore you know, there'll just be the limbs poking above the surface. They don't care about that. All they care about is just not being able to see the head anymore. This is kind of weird. It's almost phrased in the article as if there's some sort of mystic elephant culture and they, they, yeah. It, 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 I think that's kind of far out there idea that elephants have an emotional connection to their offspring's head, particularly because elephants have poor eyesight. Um, I, I very much doubt that they're recognizing their calves by looking at distinguishing features of their heads. More likely, it's the general outline of the calf and especially the smell. Elephants are very good smellers and they're probably recognizing their calves based on their scent. So I think it's very unlikely that the elephants have this kind of common burial practice of trying to position the bodies of their dead loved ones in a particular way so they don't have to look at their faces. The study contains medical records for each of the five cases where people looked at the bodies and tried to determine the cause of death. 
Now, in some of the cases, they were able to see impressions on the actual legs of the calves, indicating that the mothers had very tightly wrapped their trunk around the calves' legs and were dragging it. And all of the calves significantly had bruises on their backs, indicating that they might have been dragged on their backs along the ground. So do Indian elephants intentionally bury their calves? Well, I'm not entirely convinced, and I think there are other scenarios that could possibly explain this evidence. For example, these could be calves that simply stumbled into the ditches or fell into the ditches and then were accidentally buried by the movement of the herd over the ditch. So perhaps in this scenario you have you know, these sick or dying calves that are either getting pulled along by their mothers or that are kind of stumbling along with the herd and they happen to fall into the ditch, the mother loses grip on the baby while she's trying to pull it through this ditch and so the baby rolls over and ends up upside down in the ditch. And the elephant herd moving across the ditch is naturally gonna trample down the sides of the ditch and exposing all this loose dirt and kind of compacting it down around the baby. So I could see an instance where we have sort of accidental burial uh, just by nature of elephants disturbing the soil and uh, kind of pushing it down around the carcass. But overall, I think it's unlikely that these are actually intentional burials. To me, the more likely scenario is, as I mentioned earlier, that these are sick or dying calves that happen to fall in these ditches as the elephant herd is crossing the ditch. And these calves are unable to get up again. The rest of the herd realizes that, are in distress, circling around, and uh, you know, mourning elephants do display signs of grief when their loved ones are dead or dying. And as they're basically observing this dying individual begin to walk on the edges of the ditch, trampling down the sides and compacting the dirt around the calf. So what do these supposed burials tell us about human uniqueness? If the authors of the study are correct, is burial a trait that's not unique to humans? Well, yes. And that's something that we actually already know because burial is something that is seen in many different creatures, including social insects. So things like termites and ants and sometimes more rarely bees will all participate in this sort of activity. So obviously all of these insects live uh, communally, right? If you're thinking about an ant nest or hill and a bee's nest, right? There's lots of individuals working, living together. And so they can't have dead individuals just lying around. Those will pick up, you know, fungi will begin growing, bacteria will begin growing. It, it becomes a kind of a breeding ground for infectious substances. So the nest mates will take the individual, sometimes they'll just kind of cast the body out into kind of a, a garbage heap. Uh, other times they will actually take the body and cover it with dirt. So they are basically burying it. So we already know that burial is not unique to humans. But burial is rare among, you know, larger animals, animals that are larger than insects. And so if elephants were shown to be burying their dead, that would be quite interesting. Now, I think there are two primary differences between the ways that certain animals bury their dead and the way that humans bury their dead. One is the form of that burial, and the second is the emotional and religious reasons for that burial. So first of all, with the form, right? Humans have developed all sorts of distinctive ways of burying the dead, right? Whether it be you're talking about coffins, whether you're talking about mummification or grave goods, all of these sorts of rituals that accompany burial. So humans have taken this practice, which is uh, done among certain other creatures, and they've added all of these additional cultural elements to, to burial. So there's certainly a difference in terms of the way in which uh, we go about that practice. Now, in terms of the emotional aspect, humans bury as a sort of release, right? Putting the body in the ground kind of, in a sense, not fully, of course, puts it out of sight, 
out of mind. There's also religious reasons for burial, right? Among religions, burial is often associated with a belief in the afterlife. You're burying the body so that it will rise again, almost like planting a seed so it's going to rise again, right? There's, there's all sorts of imagery surrounding uh, burial and its connection to resurrection. Now, humans, of course, do bury for utilitarian reasons, right? When we smell dead bodies decaying, it smells awful to us. That's a deterrent to get us away from that body. Just like insects don't want to spread diseases in their hive or their nest, that, that, that scent serves as kind of a uh, warning to us to stay away from the dead body so that we don't contract pathogens from the body. So we bury bodies to kind of get rid of that unpleasant smell, uh, to get rid of the pathogens associated with uh, decaying flesh. So we do, there are some similarities. We, we, we do have some commonalities in that burial ultimately does have a utilitarian purpose, but humans have added additional rituals and emotional reasons for burial in addition. So what do you think? Were these elephant mothers intentionally burying their dead calves? Or was this an unintentional burial? Well, you can let me know down in the comments section below. Love to see what you think about this study. Fascinating study regardless. Um, I hope you did enjoy the video. Thanks so much for watching.